9.9. There you go. So we do not uh, we do not do much on the MLS. Um, a buddy of mine in Texas has a program where he's he claims that he can search the MLS and it will kick out good deals. So we're gonna we're gonna test that out, but we haven't. Now back in 2010, uh, in February 2010, we bought 22 properties off of MLS. They were all REAs. Unfortunately, you can't do that anymore, at least to that volume. So we 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 like to generate the better deals, and that's going straight to the seller. Uh, do we train our VAs for admin task? Um, yes, and they're trained. The, the company that we use claims they train them for 200 hours. So you definitely do have to train them, no doubt. Uh, our direct response, uh, my marketing director just popped out of the room. Um, it is low. It's low. It is like point zero three or four. So it's like it's like a third of one percent response rate. And recently we've seen it going like this. And so therefore we're gonna we're gonna switch. We were doing all postcards. We're gonna switch to letter and we're gonna switch to a, a different marketing message. But it's low. Charles, you let me know how much time we have because I could be up here to midnight. You got as long as you need. Okay. Do you want to say another ten or fifteen minutes and then we'll cut it? Okay. Brad, great name, man. <laughs> Best marketing method is uh, one in two close is, is direct mail and TV. So direct, most most of the investors around the country who do really well do really well with direct mail. So you guys should definitely learn direct mail. We're not doing much with, his question was what kind of skip tracing service do we use? Um, we have TLO. Uh, TLO is very, very hard to get. You got They come and actually do a, a uh, complete audit of your office. Um, but you can find the seller.com. There's, there's tons of them out there. But we're not doing much with skip tracing now. Marty? What company do you use for your VA? Uh, my out desk is the one that says they train for 200 hours. They're they're more expensive. They're in the nine to ten dollar an hour range. And then there's a company in Houston called SSP Sally Sally Paul uh, that are full time VAs are 450 an hour and part time VAs are five dollars an hour. How do you feel about cold calling our uh, leads and how do we get their information? So we do do that. We probably make, our VAs probably make three, four, uh, let's see, 200 calls a day. They probably make a thousand calls a day to a list, um, our direct mail list. And we do that by, the direct mail provider gives us the numbers. So if you go to list source, you, you can buy those phone numbers. Um, be very, very careful though, because the do not call laws are, are pretty serious business. And I can't, I can't advise you on that because I'm not a telecommunications attorney, but just be really careful about the do not call laws. What's the protocol for deals outside of our area? Meaning that if we get leads from outside of those areas, I typically have just been referring to people in my network that I know. Um, I think we've, there's my buddy who does the nursing homes, we've done a lot of business with him in the Hagerstown area. Um, other than that, we've, uh, it typically takes anywhere from 20 to 50 leads to close a deal. So I get sporadic leads in and I send them out, but I don't see a whole lot back. Uh, I'm not sure the, the point of asking the question if you're thinking about, if you're thinking about trying to generate outside leads, it's, it's not worth it. It's, it's, really, it's really better to focus on your market where you can close them yourself. So it's very, very simply, it's just a, um, it's a website for generating deals. You pay, you pay uh, on carrot anywhere between 50, 100 bucks a month and you get a website. You get one or th to three websites. You can pick a, pick a package. 
and then you just customize the website to you pick a URL. I don't know, I can't see your name, but Tracy buys houses or whatever your name is. Um, and then that's your website. It just happens to be, they're an investor. They provide real estate investors with websites that are that are the best in the business. They're already put together. And then you can go in and you can, yeah, they'll say, hey, and they'll give you full instructions on how to get leads, how to put your name in there, how to put your phone number, all that. And that's the website? Yep. The yep, that, that it'll, it'll redirect to there, yep. How do you figure out the percentages for wholesale? How do Now, for example, you, you mentioned the 25% uh, that you do with joint ventures, but if you're doing about 30% of wholesaling, how do you figure out, you have a formula that is set? So like now, for example, if I have a property that's 250,000, am I gonna do wholesale that at 10% or so, so that if you you as the sell, you as the investor would would you would decide that so you would say hey I've got this house you don't have to tell us what's under contract for but you can say I want to sell this house for 250 and then if you got under contract for 240 you know you're going to make ten thousand dollars if the deal is going to make a hundred thousand dollars then you're going to sit there and say okay do I want to make ten thousand dollars today or do I want to joint venture with Express Home Buyers and get paid the twenty five thousand dollars six months from now four months from now whenever the house is rehabbed and sold. So we don't we don't figure out any formula. That's you, you come to us and say I either want to wholesale it or I want to stay in the deal, joint venture with you guys and get paid on the back. So his question was, how long do we wait to uh, mail to probates? Um, we mail right away, um, and then we keep mailing for like 15 months when we've done it. Um, I've heard some people say that you should wait, and I've heard other people say that they uh, they start right away because they they're the first person to touch them. Um, probate investing is really competitive. Like there's so many people doing it, so it's it's going to be tough. Um, I also know people that don't start until a year and then they go from a year to like two years so there's no right or wrong answer to that question you could start immediately and get deals or you could start in a year and get deals it just happens to be what's the mood of the person when they pick it up and does your message resonate with them but that's a highly highly competitive space so I'm not saying not to do it I'm just giving you guys my knowledge of that space when when we uh, when we mail we'll often hear people getting f sometimes up to 50 postcards or letters if, that are personal representatives Is it Helen? Yeah. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. So you're, I'm not quite sure what your question is. You've got a property owner that the, in DC that the property has been vacant for four years. He does not want to. He does not want to rent. And did you say he does not want to sell? Because the wife is attached to the property. Okay. Um, so. The simple answer is some deals just aren't deals. Some deals just don't work. A lot of investors try to make stuff work that just doesn't work. Have you spoke with the uh, Have you spoke with the wife? Uh, no. Um, but the guy is my client. The guy's your client. So I would. Uh, this is just my advice. Um, whether it's right or wrong, I would have a meeting where the wife was there because. You can't get her, she's got to have to sign. So you, you should have a conversation with her about, you know, the pluses and the minuses and, you know, what are they going to do with this house? He has pain points around it. So again, I would address those pain points in this meeting and talk about how these pain points are affecting him and how you can fix it. And, you know, they're not doing any good holding onto the property. Um, it's, you know, it's possibly run down. It's cost some taxes and upkeep and all that. So I would just try to get across to her that you're a solution. Obviously, it's not working for him to do it. So I would step in if I were you and try to have a conversation with her and him at the same time and try to convince him that this is the right way to go.
sure. Uh, her question was, it, would it be uh, would it be good in that situation to offer to partner with her? And as Charles and uh, Brittany were saying earlier, yeah, like this is where you got to get creative and think outside the box. Like there's something that you're not providing her. Uh, you're not providing a solution that she's up for. So that's why you've got to sit down and you've got to figure out what are her pain points. It's not just she's attached to the property. There's more to it than that. I'm attached to the property and I think I can make this much money or I think in 15 years it will be worth this or whatever it is. So if it's, I think it's going to be worth this much in 15 years, great. Let me partner with you. Let's get it rehab. Let's get renters in there. And then you'll still have the property in 15 years worth what you think it's going to be worth, right or wrong. But you'll have 15 years of income that you're not going to, you know, uh, lose lose out on so absolutely I mean just whatever it takes to get the deal but you're not going to know that unless you sit down and talk with that lady and figure out exactly what is keeping her from selling that house and then you provide that solution or we're going to do like three or four more questions I promised my kids I'd take them to the children's museum <laughs> Quickest way someone can uh, generate leads starting in the business when they have a little to no budget. Uh, very, very easy question. Answer is direct mail and bandit signs. Put 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 the uh, put the magnets on your car. Get the business cards. Call all that costs anything. Get the bandit signs, and then direct mail hardly costs anything. You can go to Staples and get a box of 500 envelopes and paper, and go on the website. Go on the SDAT website. Find those people and just start mailing them. That, that's it's exactly what I did. Like you're talking to someone who had no money, and that's that's all I could do. And network. Be in this room. Talk to people. I'll get you next. any experience with knocking on doors. I've personally done it myself. I hired a guy in DC that, that did it for a couple months. He wasn't the right fit, um, but it's an abs it's, a, it's a great way to do it. It's a very, very um, uh, time intensive, uh, non-targeted way to do it, uh, but it's it, have the door hangers, walk neighborhoods, knock on doors. If a realtor could go with you, or if you happen to have a realtor license, or you can refer them, it's another way because you can knock on the door and say, hey, I'm in the neighborhood, and do you have to know anyone who wants to sell in this neighborhood instead of coming up and saying do you want to sell your house because people are going to be like no I don't want to sell my house hey I'm just walking through the neighborhood I love the neighborhood and I'm just curious do you happen to know anyone who would be interested in selling in this neighborhood and then eventually you'll get one that says yeah you know I've been thinking about selling great can I make you an offer an as is cash offer on your property and then you just proceed from there so I'm ask you a question great information so today well, I'll get a follow-up system and then get some cards and some signs on your cars. Start from that. That would be a hell of a start. Yeah, great start. Just believe me, we have we have spent, I told you earlier, we're spending almost $2 million a year in marketing. We've made countless mistakes. We have wasted hundreds of thousands. We've lost millions of dollars. We've made millions and we've lost millions. So um, you guys are fortunate. I've, I've been a part of 5,000 real estate transactions. You've got Charles who's been a part of thousands of real estate transactions. So take our advice. And the best advice I can give you is what Daryl just summarized. When you walk out here today, if you're serious about this business, if you're not, it doesn't matter. If you're serious about this business and you want to make it work, take my advice. And that is you have got to get the follow-up system set up and then go out and get your business cards, your bandit signs, and your direct mail and start and be consistent and learn how to talk to sellers. And Charles can teach you how to talk to sellers and it will come. And then there's going to be a lot of you that just say, hey, I'm not, I'm not up for that. I don't want to work that hard and I'm not going to persevere. And, you know, that's that's going to, you know, you get from life what you put into it. So it's it's not easy. I'm not standing here. No one in this room is standing here saying, hey, this is a real easy business. No, it's tough. It's really tough. But I am a testament that it works. It works. It works. It works. And there's a lot of other people that are testament. It's a great business. You're actually helping people. You're helping neighborhoods. I mean, we do we get a really bad reputation. We have a bad reputation. Not us. We all have a bad reputation in the world that we, you know, steal little old ladies' houses and, you know, realtors, you prey on people. Well, I can't tell you how many. Go to our website and look at the videos. They're not made up. These are real people.
people that had no other solution that we helped out. And then we take that house, that blighted house, and we make it look nice again. And now it's, it's higher price. The neighbor's house is, is increased in value. So do your part to change the reputation of this of this industry. Um, stand above the riffraff out there. Um, you'll go to our website and from day one a lot of people hide behind the We Buy Houses signs and I get it because some of them just don't want to get caught. Others they hide behind because they're doing unscrupulous things. Right. From day one you've seen my face out there. You've seen, you go to our website, our address is all over there. We're not hiding it from anyone. Look, here's the price we can pay for your house. If you don't like our price, go, go, go somewhere else, call a realtor or whatever. So I just, I just urge you to do that. You know, we, we're, uh, there's a lot of great people in this industry and the people that bring it down and, you know, it's kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So. Thank you, Brad. Let's give him a big hand. I know those kids want to go to the museum. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Good information? Very good. Yes. Very good. Now. How many of you are going to go out and use the information? Because it's only one part of the puzzle is to hear it. Right. The most important part of the puzzle is to put it into action. We're going to have an opportunity to go further 